What up underdog fam, Zachary Babcock here and today we're going to talk about self-confidence, like how to build self-confidence in your business so that you can scale to six to seven figures because if you don't have, how can you expect to you know, sell a product or service that you're not confident in? Uh, how can you expect to grow your business when you don't have that self-confidence? It plays a huge role in entrepreneurship and we're going to dive into some key tactics, tips, strategies, whatever the hell you want to call them here in this video. Um, but if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to rise up and win as an underdog entrepreneur and how to scale to six and seven figures, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications, and we are getting started right now. My name is Zachary Bell. And I'm doing this cycle, doing this cycle, reaching out to people, reaching out, nothing, nothing, nothing. One of these days I'm playing basketball and I'm going back and forth with this kid. And we're just going back and forth at it. And end up start talking. He's from the Midwest. He's a Kansas guy. So we start talking. He's like, well, what'd you move to LA for? And I told him, you know, I want to work in entertainment. Just so happens this guy was getting ready to get promoted off of an assistant job as soon as he found someone to take his job for him. <laughs> so I came in and got the interview. Nailed it. He coached me the whole way how to get through it. And then boom, landed my first job. And that was my first job in entertainment. And it came from some guy at the park who now I am actually currently working on a show for ABC with him. We also produce a show for Netflix together. Like this is a guy who we have become such good friends. And we in people, their minds are blown when they realize like, yeah, we met playing basketball, talking <laughs> trash to each other at the park. But I can't tell people, you know, when I talk with kids from that, that move out from the Midwest and they want to work in this industry and they're and they they're like, man, well, how do I get it started? I can't tell you to start playing basketball. I can't tell you that that's <laughs> that's where that job or where that opportunity is going to come from. But if it wouldn't have been the court, it would have been a guy at the gym. If it wasn't someone at the gym, it would have been one of those production companies or it would have been it would have been something. And it was like, I think sometimes we get so caught in our heads about the perfect plan and, and how do we do it the perfect way and where is it? Sometimes you really don't know how it's going to work out. So all you can do is say, look, this is who I am. This is what I want to do and let people know that. If I, had, if I had gone to the park and not been comfortable with myself enough to say, yeah, hey, I want to work on TV. If I had been so insecure about being like, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not working in entertainment yet. So like if somebody asks me what I'm doing, I don't want to sound like a I don't want to sound like a guy who I don't want to look small like I don't know what I'm talking about. But I was like, no, dude, I want look, I want to work in TV. I don't know. Like, what do you want to do? I don't know, man. I just want to be in entertainment. So it's like for people that are starting a business, there's there's that hurdle to get over of. Oh, man, like, you know, I don't have any clients yet. I don't want to say I'm that thing before I have any clients or man, my art, you know, our product is you know, it's, it's not working yet. I don't want to like be putting my, I don't want to be, I don't want to put myself out there too soon. Right. You hear that all the time. I don't want to put myself out there till it's perfect. It's like, sure. Like if you don't have anything and you're, and you haven't, you don't even know the first thing about if I, if I said, yeah, I'm a car dealer and I don't know how anything about cars, <laughs> then maybe that's a problem. But so often it's like, you just have to be comfortable with you and be comfortable with the fact that, yo, Hey, I don't have the answer. I don't know how this is all going to turn out. I really don't. But I have an idea of the di direction I'm aiming and having the, you know, I, I don't want to call it the guts or, you know, but it's just like having the confidence in yourself to just say, hey, this is what I want to do. So what I really love about that was how Phil broke that down into actionable steps. Like he said, this is who I am. This is what I want to be. And I'm going to go out and do it. Like it's as simple as that, man. Like you, if you, what I dealt with early on, uh, in my coaching career was I don't I'm not I, I'm not Gary Vaynerchuk yet or I'm not a credible I'm not a credible source of information I'm just getting started right and so I didn't really think that I had value to give to other people which was wrong in itself but because of that 
I didn't, I didn't attract my ideal clients. I didn't make any sales. I didn't, I, I didn't grow my business. And it was like so frustrating. I just wanted to ram my head into this wall over and over and over again, trying to figure this out. And it wasn't until I had specific mentors, you know, tell me like, dude, you've been through some shit. You've been through five years of your life in prison. Uh, you overcame that, which most people don't. And you came out here and became a responsible father and entrepreneur. And now you went out and built a business and network marketing, which ended up not being your true passions and purpose and calling in life but you did build up a business to almost $2,000 a month, which isn't crazy rich or anything, but in network marketing, that's a lot because most people don't even get that first sale. And um, you were able to overcome that shit. So you have value. And then as I went into coaching and shifted what it was that I wanted to do in life, um, and as I got this mentorship, I started becoming more confident, started seeing, you know, all, all that mentor did was hold up that, that mirror for me and let me see you know, what was already inside of myself, my potential, and helped me flesh it out to the surface. So you gotta get really confident about your offers, about your products, uh, about yourself, uh, before you can go out into the marketplace and start dominating. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I'm gonna link up another video. Uh, it's gonna be like here or here, not exactly sure. Um, and be sure to check out that if you're looking to scale your business six, seven figures. And if you want a complete blueprint, a four component blueprint to rapidly scale your business as an underdog entrepreneur to six and seven figures, be sure to check out the growth engine blueprint in the description below. And I will definitely see you on the next video. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. Uh, this that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. Uh, My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah,